Hello, this is Queen Mama Elena, Queen Madalena. I would like to come on and address what's going on with Wendy Williams' money. Um, in the 15 years relationship she had with the financial advisor, Lisa um, Skriller, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. And also, um, she's mentioned that... Um, a doctor has been involved. Now, Wendy is born July 18th. I have a very close relative that is born July 18th. And I know their characteristics. She is not insane when it comes to her money. Okay. Um, I'm not an astrology person, but for those who's listening, I'm going to refer to her in an astrology way. A cancer person now. You know, cancer people are very emotional people. Just that's their nature. They're very caring. They're very concerned about people. And, you know, they give when they want to give. And when they don't want to give, they don't want to give. They like to shop. They like expensive things. But, you know, a person can take advantage of the um, emotional... I want to say the emotional... Um, feelings feelings but one thing i know she ain't crazy about her money wendy williams is not crazy she does not have any type of mental issues when it comes to her money cancer people are very hard working people they have they are always about getting their money they're good about making investments and this woman is not crazy in her mind when it comes to her money. She has no reason to be laundering any type of money because she has worked years on TV and we have saw her work years and she has gotten paid legally for her money. I'm concerned as to why a judge has to take the time out to review her case. If it was someone else of a different skin color, I'm pretty sure that her money, their money, excuse me, would be released. I read an article where it says they want to make sure that, you know, they're willing to open up the account to where it is that um, they'll pay her bills that's been coming out the account on time, her utilities, they will pay her employees and whatever else that needs to be paid. Well, what about her livelihood? What about what she needs personally? This woman has been living a lifestyle for years. That needs to be attended to. The bank has no right unless she was doing something illegal with her funds. And it doesn't sound like she was doing something illegal with her funds. But I am alleging that her financial advisor, okay, understand very clearly, alleging that her financial advisor has probably taken some of Wendy's money in cahoots alleging with the doctor that has wrote out this probably fictitious, alleging fictitious petition to cover themselves up on taking money from her. Because how can you have a relationship with somebody for 15 years? That's almost like a friendship. And then when they start to have some sort of medical problems, grave disease ain't messing with her mental mind. She said her eyes, it's messing with her, the muscles behind her eyes. There are people that's on SSI, disability, and you know so well, they are not supposed to be in charge of their money because they mismanage it, mishandle it. They'll go to the social security office and tell these, those people, I need to be my own payee. And you know so well, just looking at that person and dealing with them on a daily level or personal level that they do not need to be in charge of their money. And that's only like, what, about $1,000 a month? So this woman's money is being taken and no one is raising, what, what is our black organizations? 
Where's the NAACP? And please don't say if she has a Caucasian financial advisor. Financial advisor. Well, that's what she get. No, 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 no. Because it could have happened with any other skin color or culture person that she hired as a financial advisor. Again, I'm alleging this woman has gotten in cahoots and taken some of Wendy's money and to cover herself, she is taking advantage of Wendy's mental status. And let me tell you, if you're sick, you're going to have some mental challenges because you're sick. You know what I'm saying? She's 57 years old. She got um, a, a Graves disease that's affecting her eyes and, you know, I'm um, drinking. Oh, okay, she drinks. That don't mean that she does not know how to handle her finances. You got presidents that drink. That you got, of diff, all countries around the world that, that do something. Remember when Obama had a beer, ex our prior president Obama had a beer when someone, you know, disrespected him. You know, you got presidents um that have smoked weed, um, presidents that have done some sort of drugs, presidents that have done different sort of um substance or recreational substance. That's not messing with her mind. This woman earned this money. Where are our black leaders that's in a higher position on a platform to raise questions and to petition? What is going on with Wendy Williams' money that it is being held and she can't have access to it? She earned that money legally. No one said anything about no taxes. So obviously she didn't pay her taxes. You mean to tell me you could put your money into an institution and somebody like the financial advisor and some doctor working in cahoots with can come along and work together. And she mentioned some other person come along and work together and hold this woman's money. That's absolutely ridiculous. And as she said, it's not right and it's not wrong. She's raising points. She's crying out for her fans to know what is going on with her money. I'm discerning in the spirit something like this has transpired and someone needs to step up with her attorney and do some investigations and file the proper documents to get this woman's money released so that she can continue to live the lifestyle she's been living because she legally earned that money. And you know, the bank takes your money and will use your money to invest on your money. But if you go to the bank and you want to get your money out, that the bank got a whole bunch of questions. Now you can go put de deposit that money in and they okay with it. But when you want to take that money out, they got a whole bunch of questions as to why you want to take your money out. Now they want to investigate you on taking your money out. Sometimes they don't even have that amount of money in the bank. They got to order money to give you your money. But when you go deposit it, they freely take it. Where is Wendy Williams' money? That is our sister. Where is her money? She legally owned, earned, excuse me, and owned. Where is it? How can one person come and write something and say, oh, something is wrong with her mind and you've been knowing this woman for 15 years? 
You've been working with this woman for 15 years. She's been paying your salary. And I'm pretty sure her being the type of person that she is with her characteristics, she's been nice to you. She probably has gifted you and gave you many of things. And you take the audacity to do something like this to her? Let me tell you something. God don't like ugly and don't care too much for pretty. Whatever's in the dark is going to come to the light. Wendy, we hold you up in prayer. Prayer warriors, pray for our sister, Wendy. Uplift her in prayer. And may God show you what is going on. We're praying for her mind that's being attacked. We're praying for our health that's being attacked. We're praying for her finances that's being attacked. Father God, we uplift her and we ask you to help her. I don't know what's her religion, but I'm a Christian. And I say prayer warriors, pray for Wendy Williams. And if you are in any type of position, use your platform to raise a voice and help her. Any attorneys out there that has good legal advice for her and that can help her, 